The arthroscopic view from the anterolateral portal shows a decreased volume of the lateral meniscus due to a previous surgical resection. The posterior LM is pulled anteriorly over the center of the lateral compartment by probing. The posterior LM is repaired under the guidance of the ultrasound by having the assistant surgeon place the ultrasound probe, covered with a sterile sleeve, horizontally on the popliteal fossa to allow confirmation of the posterior portion of the LM and the popliteal artery. An all-inside suture device, the jugger stitch, is introduced from an anterolateral portal, and the tip of the needle is observed in the ultrasound image. While penetrating the posterior LM, the direction of the needle is confirmed not to injure the neurovascular structures. The anchor of the jugger stitch is introduced at the posterior side of the LM and can be observed as a high echoic region. After introduction of two anchors, the sutures are pulled anteriorly through the anterolateral portal, and the knot is tightened. The ultrasound image shows that the two anchors are positioned on the capsule behind the posterior LM. The same procedures are then repeated. The location of the popliteal artery and the direction of the needle are confirmed by ultrasound every time. If the needle is directed toward the artery, it should be extracted and inserted again. A total of four sutures are performed to obtain stability of the LM under the assistance of ultrasound. The final arthroscopic examination shows the properly secured repair and the stabilized posterior LM by probing.